How about a little more bang for your buck? Joytech EVIC VTC Mini upgrade. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to this edition of the Vapor Chronicles. This is going to be a short and sweet video on how to upgrade your Joytech EVIC VTC Mini and uh, I'm going to walk you through it. Now, if you don't know already, the Joytech EVIC VTC Mini is the newest version of the EVIC and uh, it's my current favorite device that I vape, period, bar none, no question about it. But they've added more watts for you. So now it goes up to 75 watts in standard canthal mode, 75 watts in temperature control mode, and you have these stealthy, beautiful little devices with beautiful OLED screens for your vaping pleasure. So I'm going to show you how to upgrade on the website. It doesn't really say the upgrades available, but it is. And I'd like to thank one of my loyal subscribers who has become really a contributor on my channel. And I really appreciate him, Greg Paschak. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, but thank you, Greg. You sent me an email. I saw it. I love the EVIC, you know that, so thank you very much, and I upgraded these. Right now I'm running version firmware version 1.20, and that is the newest one. The only thing that they have to give me still is maybe adding, uh, I don't know, stainless steel. That would be cool, stainless steel. I mean, it does nickel, titanium, bypass, canthal. Why not stainless steel? Other than that, 75 watts, single 18650 battery. Let's upgrade these and give you 15 more watts for nothing. All right, let's do it. All right, so here are my two Joytech EVIC VTC minis, and we're gonna upgrade them. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to grab your upgrade cable that came with your kit. It looks like a micro USB cord, which it is, and uh, it's used for charging, and it's also used for upgrading. The next thing you wanna do is check out which firmware you have, okay? So how to do that is when the device is on, and I'll show you on both of these, uh, five clicks to turn them off, and once they're off, you want to do 20 times, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then you'll see your version number. So I'm running firmware 1.02 on both devices, okay? So there you go. You know what version you have. So let's switch over to the Joytech website and I'll show you how to download the software and I'll talk you through upgrading yours and we'll see if it worked. All right, let's do it. Here we are at the Joytech website. Now I apologize, I have a widescreen monitor so it might not show exactly the same as I see it. But what you wanna do is you wanna to go to the top here and you'll see store, e-cigarette, e-juice, social news, contact and support. Click on support. And then right down here, you're gonna see welcome to Joytech support. See where it says software download, click on that. And the software you're gonna to wanna to download is the VT software for upgrading the EVIC VTC Mini. So you click on that, and then you wanna pick your operating system. I'm gonna be using Windows, so I'm gonna click here. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a WinZip file. Uh, it's called Update Firmware Version 1.10. Now, I do not think this is 1.10. I think this is the newer version. They just haven't changed the file name yet. We're going to find out though. So I'm going to save this to my desktop because it's easy to find. And on my desktop, I'm going to create a folder. And we're going to call the folder Joy Update. Open. And then we're just going to save. So right down here, if you can see it, and I hope you can, you'll see update firmware.zip in the bottom left corner. Click that little arrow and put click on show in folder. Okay. Now, once you're in the folder, which you'll see here, you'll see update firmware. Right click with your right mouse button and click extract here. Okay. Once that's extracted, you'll see the update firmware.exe. All right. So what you want to do next is double click that. Then when you're in that screen, you want to connect your device, which I'm doing right now. Now my device is on right now. Now, as soon as I connect it, it'll say firmware version, hardware version. Okay. It detects it. 
the device is still on, make sure you have a fresh battery, and then click update. Now, we're going to use the EVIC VTC Mini 1.2.bin. This is the brand new file. It's dated 10 12 15. This is the brand new. Then we're going to click open. And then it should say firmware update complete. Okay. Hit OK. And then click exit. Shut down your device. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So the update on the white one is complete. The update on the black one is not complete yet. I just wanted to show you the differences between the two. Um, to verify your firmware version, I'm gonna the device is turned off, so I'm gonna hit this 20 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And now it'll say 1.2. Okay? So 1.02, 1.2 upgrade was successful. Now the difference is between the two. The maximum power in power mode on this version is 60 watts. The maximum on this version is 75 watts. Okay. When we scroll through, bypass is the same except this one has a more fresh battery. You still have your nickel, but you can go up higher in your wattage now in nickel mode, 75 instead of 60. Same with titanium. And you'll also notice that if we go down, you have your puffs, which you also have here. You have your time, battery, but now you have your current. So when I fire now, you're going to see the actu actual current for your battery. So really cool upgrade. Very nice job, Joytech. Super easy to upgrade. If you haven't checked out the EVIC VTC Mini, do yourself a favor. This is one awesome device. I use each one of these. They're both with me all the time. And whether you're temperature control vaping, um, bypass, or wattage mode, super awesome, portable, lightweight, well-built device that I love at a great price. So going from 60 watts to 75 watts on a tank like this, this is an RTA reading 0.24 ohms. And uh, you know what? It just gives more vapor production. Let's take a vape. So there you go, just be careful with more power. You wanna make sure you use really good quality, high drain 18650 batteries. I prefer right now, because you can read the amps on the screen here, but I'm preferring these LG HG2 3000 mAh batteries. I think they come out in the test that I've read to about 2900 and change. But for me, 2900 mAh, you know, 20 amp continuous, um, super, super battery at a great price. So Super Tank Mini with a 0.2 ohm coil head, the Tobacco coil head in here, and I have it at 75 watts. So at 75 watts, it heats up the coil faster, it gives me a warmer vape, and it's excellent. So there you go, the upgrade. More upgrades, more tutorials, more how-tos, more reviews on everything vape all the time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you real soon.